Hi guys, so today's video is going to be kind of a recap of my experience at Generation Beauty. I have been there once and I went the first year that Michelle Fawn hosted this event. I must say that the experience was a lot different this year compared to the first time that I went. So my plan for the whole weekend was to kind of vlog the entire thing like normal vlog style, how I usually do it. But I just realized that there wasn't much to vlog and at the end of the day I just didn't have enough footage so I decided to kind of do like a talk through vlog kind of thing. Hopefully you guys don't mind it. I will be inserting clips of parts of my day and talking you guys through my experience. And if you guys are liking this look, I know it's a little different, but I just was kind of playing around with some stuff. If you guys like this look, let me know. I will be happy to do a tutorial on the makeup and hair for you guys. I know this has been like the end thing now and I just wanted to try it out and Ant said that he really liked it so it makes me want to wear it like every day. And I think that's all I have to say for my intro. Let's just get right into it. The first part that kind of sucked about this year's Generation Beauty. Honestly, this part was my fault. I didn't RSVP. Um, in time for the Friday night cocktail party so I didn't get my spot reserved and I wasn't able to attend. If you guys aren't familiar with the cocktail party for Generation Beauty, basically they invite all of the creators to a cocktail party on Friday night and everyone kind of just gets to mingle. By the time I knew I was able to go, I the spots were just filled up which I honestly didn't think would happen just based on my experience of the first cocktail party. Let me explain this part right now. I didn't vlog the first time that I went, or the first time that they ever had the cocktail party, but I do know that there were vloggers there, um, one of them being It's Judy Time, and she did have footage from Generation Beauty's cocktail party that year. I will leave that linked down below. You guys can check that video out. But basically, when I went the first year, there were not that many people. It wasn't crowded. So I was really, really bummed that I wasn't able to attend because that's just a great place to kind of meet other creators and kind of just talk to them, get some advice. It's a totally different vibe or just totally different environment from the Generation Beauty event on Saturday and Sunday. I tried to contact some people from IFSI and I was like, hey, like, I'm sorry, is there anything that you can do? In my mind, this cocktail party is like the one that I went to the first time. Um, so in my mind, I'm just like, I'm sure someone can do something, help me out somehow. And then I saw the Snapchats and I was like, they were not kidding when they said they were fully booked. I saw a bunch of Snapchats from some of my YouTube friends. We saw Tati Westbrook, she had some snaps that said that the cocktail party was so crowded that it was just extremely hot in there. And from the Snapchats, it literally looked like a club, like a nightclub, like that's how crowded it was. So even though I was bummed that I didn't get to interact with creators that night, I don't think I missed out on very much, or I hope I didn't. So I kind of just went out with my friends that night, just had a good time. Fast forward to Saturday. This is a day of Generation Beauty. So if you guys have never been to Generation Beauty before, basically what it looks like is you have like a line outside um, to check in, and then there's like an area that you can like take pictures. And then also inside the tent, there are tons of amazing brands that you guys have definitely heard of. There's Too Faced, Benefit, Makeup Forever, Smashbox, um, Ofra was there. So there was just a bunch of different brands and basically you have like this little sheet of paper and it has like a ticket for each brand where you can go and redeem that ticket for a free product or whatever they're giving out that day. So all the brands are giving out free stuff. Too Faced was giving away, I think each of their palettes, the Chocolate Bar, Semi Sweet, and the Chocolate Bonbons palette. Benefit was giving away the Hula Bronzer and then Makeup Forever I know was actually color matching people with the new Ultra HD foundation and then you get a full size bottle of that foundation with your name engraved on it. So I walked in and first of all I tried to find Allie. If you guys don't know her, Fashion by Allie, go check her out. Met some great people. I will leave all of their links down below. I kind of just looked around, wandered around to see if like we can go and redeem our little tickets and all the lines were packed. So they're just like different booths and then there's like a line for each booth. It was very organized though, I must say. They just had a bunch of people that were volunteering, helping out with the lines. If you guys are going to Generation Beauty in the future, make sure you go early, just so that you can get the products, like the, I guess you can say like the biggest products or the ones that are worth the most money, if those are the products that you want. So, what's me and Christina did, I was like, you know what, if I can't get any of the free products, that's fine, but I really, really, really just want to talk to the reps from the brands 
And that is what I did. Um, I went with Christina, which is one of the girls that I met. You guys might also know her as, I think it's, what was her um, YouTube, YouTube channel? I wrote it down, Mint Plus. But I basically went around with her and we were able to talk to the reps of different brands. So we basically did that the entire time that we were there. Also, what we did there was take a bunch of pictures with all the other YouTubers. Ryan by Ryan Chua, thank you. You are our photographer for the day and you are so amazing. Hopefully I'm saying your last name right and it was so nice to meet you. Another thing that happened was I was able to meet Kim Tai Nguyen. Oh my god. She is so beautiful and she is so sweet. Our Conversation was very, very brief, but she was one of the people that I absolutely wanted to meet that day. If I couldn't find her running around somewhere, I was gonna go to her meet and greet and take pictures with her because I love her so much and I think that she's such an inspiration, not only when it comes to makeup, but I just love her positivity. And I also got to finally meet Winnie and, well, I already knew them, but I got to meet them in person I guess you can say. Um, Winnie and Charmaine, we did a collab together with Allie. They're so beautiful and so sweet and it was so nice finally meeting them. I wish we got to hang out a little bit longer but next time that they come to LA hopefully they hit me up and we can all hang out. So after we were done at Generation Beauty we ended up going out to eat. We went with Ryan, Allie, Cindy, Christina, and Alex. We all went to go eat Korean barbecue and when you're in LA you gotta go get some Korean food so that's what we did we went to this place called Kang oh I'm gonna butcher this Kang Ho Dong Bak Jong I think that's how you say it uh, if I butchered it I am very very sorry but that's the place that we went to go eat at it was kind of like an off time so it was like maybe like three or just like an off eating time so there was not that long of a wait which was great but I heard it gets really, really crowded at night. I have been to my fair share of Korean barbecue restaurants and this one exceeded all of my expectations. The meat was incredible. It, the quality of it was amazing. The taste was amazing. And I don't know, they had like this really cool um, grill. So basically it's like a grill and then on the side, it has like little compartments where they cook like egg and then also they had like corn with cheese and they just had a bunch of different like appetizers like on the side which was very very unique the only downside to this place was that it wasn't all you can eat because i just wanted to eat a lot more i could have eaten a lot more because it was so good and they also had the best soybean soup ever um it was just kind of nice to see everybody vlogging at the same time and i didn't feel as awkward I guess you can say, because sometimes I get a little awkward when I'm like the only one doing it, but everybody had their vlog cameras out, so it felt completely normal. After dinner, we went to go get dessert, and Cindy recommended this place called Mr. Coffee. I just had a day of just like food perfection because that dessert was so good. We ended up getting um, a crepe, which was a standard basic crepe. It just had Nutella and ice cream on it, but that was the best crepe that I've ever eaten in my life. And then we had some really good Korean shaved ice. It's basically like that strawberry snow, not really snow, but just like kind of strawberry shaved ice, but not like a creamier version. So not like the Hawaiian version, but not like snow. It was like a mixture of the two. I don't know how to explain it, but it was really good. It was basically like a strawberry shaved ice. And then there was, I believe, like red bean. There was, I don't like red beans, so I didn't eat that part. There's red bean, there was mochi, there was fruit, condensed milk, and also a thing of ice cream on top of it. And it was all topped off with fruity pebbles. And it was really good, oddly. I didn't think that fruity pebbles would taste good on it, but after I ate it, I was like, hmm, this really goes with the dessert somehow. Dessert time was amazing. I got to spend some quality time with just amazing YouTubers. They are just so genuine and so nice in person. And yeah, I don't know. It was just kind of like a breath of fresh air because I don't, that was like the first time that I've ever hung out with a group of YouTubers. And I don't know, everything just seemed to kind of click very naturally, which I didn't expect, but I don't know, it did. And I absolutely love all of them. So if you want to check them out, definitely click the links in the bottom bar. I'll have all of their social media links down there. I felt like I did everything that I needed to do on Saturday, so I didn't go back on Sunday. But regardless, I had an amazing weekend and I got to spend it with such amazing people. So if you guys are watching, thank you, thank you, thank you for just being so welcoming. And even though I didn't vlog a lot, the vloggers that I did go with did, and they all have their vlogs up on their channels right now, so 
I will leave the videos linked down below as well if you guys want to see more into kind of what we did. But I basically just explained it. I just had little mini clips of them. I really hope this makes you want to go to Generation Beauty because it is fun. It is really, really fun. It's a great place to go to connect with not only your favorite YouTubers, but just other people that have the same interests as you. Obviously, everyone that's going there is really, really into beauty, so you kind of already have that common ground with people. So it's a great place to meet people. It's a great place to get some free products and just try different things out, discover new brands, and maybe have brands discover you. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you guys at a future Generation Beauty event. And I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!